Hi, in this quick lesson, I wanted to demonstrate how I use Adobe Bridge to batch rename big file sequences, whether it's image sequences, or in this case, I'm creating a library of motion capture data, and I wanna have a suffix that helps describe the frame rate and whether it's translate and rotate or only rotate. So with Adobe Bridge open here, let's jump over to the picture in picture. I don't really use Adobe Bridge for much, but this is the main thing I use it for. Um, I know the file path I wanna to get to, even though it doesn't look like you can kind of type in here, you, once you click on it, you can. So I'm just gonna paste the file path where I know I wanna get. And then when we go into one of the folders here, I can just shift select all of these or hit control A to select all of them. And then when I right click, I can get the batch rename options here. And then this is where the magic happens when it says new file names, and then it gives you the preview of what that's gonna be here. So in my case, I want the current file name, which you can get to from this drop-down menu, and I just wanna add a suffix to it. And of course you can subtract and add more things here if you wanted to do other things. Now, one of the most common ways I use this is image sequences when you get an image sequence and you wanna bring it in Maya or something and it's a underscore frame number instead of a dot frame number. So this is a quick way to change that. But in this case, I just want to change this data to have a suffix so that I know it's 24 frames a second and it's going to be translate and rotate for this motion capture camera library I'm creating. So as soon as I click rename, it's gonna add that suffix to all of these. And it's a really quick and easy way to do batch renaming if you have a, the Adobe uh, Bridge program, which comes with the Adobe Creative Cloud. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, find other tips like this at digitalcreatorschool.com. I teach entire courses using After Effects and other programs like Autodesk Maya. Like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more kind of quick tips like this. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.